security systems. In addition, you might consider getting a watchdog, and I'm not necessarily talking about a large dog. Any dog that can bark will make a good watchdog. Mm -hmm. It can alert you and mm -hmm. your neighbors. As your police chief says, 
Your police force is doing mm -hmm. its utmost to combat this increase in home burglaries in our town. This situation is intolerable, and it must be stopped. And he's right. If things continue, we could soon find ourselves at the mercy of the criminal element. Not only in your homes, but in your businesses, your factories, and even in your schools. Mm -hmm. Not one of you is safe from these hoodlums who are invading our homes. In a speech to the citizens of this fair city last night, Chief Patterson stressed the need for all of us to work together in an effort to halt the alarming rise in home burglaries. Where is he? He was supposed to be here five minutes ago. RJ, he said something unexpected delayed him. Something unexpected? I don't expect anything unexpected to happen when I call an emergency meeting, Sharp. Of course, I told him This that. is an emergency. We are being flooded with complaints that our security systems is a pushover for burglars. If something isn't done soon, Norton security systems will be left with nothing but a big old-fashioned padlock on our own front door. Any dog that can bark and alert you and your neighbors will make a good watchdog. A watchdog? That's all we need. This business is already going to the dogs. <laughs> Keep an eye on things for me, rascal. Good boy. Hand over that bone, turkey. Why don't you go home and go pick on somebody your own side? Go. Don't like him. Smart ass. Up your poop, Granny. Oh, you just can't keep yourself out of trouble, can you? Where's Brian? You just missed him, Casey Day. He drove off about five minutes ago. <laughs> Bye-bye, rascal. <laughs> now, hurry up, Muffin. Oh, I was hoping to catch him before he left for my father's office. On Sunday? Your father's upset with Brian. <laughs> no, he's not upset. He's furious. <laughs> I'll see you later, Mrs. Fowler. Thank you. Not at all, dear. Isn't she a lovely girl, Muffin? Muffin! Muffin, where are you, Muffin? Muffin! Oh, naughty girl! How many times have I told you not to disappear like that? Naughty girl. 
Mr. Norton, I'm sorry I'm late, but I... I'm sorry too, Foster. Sorry I ever hired you as my security systems engineer. RJ, you're just upset. You bet I'm upset. We're losing customers left and right. When you hired Brian right out of college, it was because he was at the top of his class. You hired him because he's brilliant. He's a genius. Thanks, kid. If he's so brilliant, how come his new security system is such a miserable flop? Mr. Norton, the system is fail-safe. There's absolutely no way anyone can penetrate it. Unless someone's giving away the secret of its operation. He's right. That's why you put it in your own office. Why, with this one switch activated, no one could get into this office without setting off every alarm in the building. Okay, stay right where you are. Let go of my daughter. Casey, are you all right? Oh, yes. I'm not scared of these guys. This is an office building. There's nothing you'd want here. Oh, yeah? Your wallets. Give us your wallets. Quick, the bag. Okay. Oh, you guys, come on. You're not going to do this. What can you say to a man with a gun? How about taking off those watches and those rings? And everybody empty their pockets. Go ahead. Have a fill up the bag. Go ahead. Sure, Brooks. What do you mean, Brooks? What did you say my name for? Oh, yeah, gee, I'm sorry, Brooks. Okay, everything goes in the sack. Go ahead. And by the way, your rings and your stuff, too. Go ahead. Okay, sister, hand it over. You heard me, hand it over. Here, do you want it in your hand or over your head? Casey, don't push them. Okay, folks, see? Everything worked out all right. Nobody got hurt. All right, now let's not blow it this time. How about somebody making a foolish move like calling the cops, huh? We're gonna be right outside this door. Got the door? Got the door. Okay. Now, nobody make a move. Call the police. I'll lock the door. Brooks! Don't anybody move! Okay, you, off the phone. Casey, do like the man says. Okay, nobody move. You open the door. Okay, now stay right where you are. Nobody's been hurt so far. Open the door. Nobody's been hurt so far. Okay, stay right where you are. Now nobody move. Okay? All right. Brooks! Brooks! Come on. That's it. That does it. No wonder we've had so many complaints about your brilliant security system. If those two clowns can penetrate it, anybody can. You're fired, Foster. And that means you and your electronic junk. Well, Mr. Norton, you Dad, come No but, Foster, and no interference there, Casey. I should never listen to you in the first place and hired this, this loser. Well, I guess I better go. It's exactly what I had in mind. And you better go before I call the police, because I might just ask them to put you away for our protection. Brian. Brian, wait. Dad, you're making a very big mistake. I'll have you know that Brian is just about ready with the new security system that will... It will be the biggest thing to hit this industry ever. It'll knock you off your feet. No, it won't. Because I don't want to know what it is. Operator, get me the police. This is an emergency. I'm going to go talk to her. Look, Casey. Casey, don't worry. I think I can help you. I don't think so. You know how stubborn my father can be. Look, if Brian's got a new system, maybe I can figure out some way of getting your father to take a look at it. You know, give Brian another chance. Uh, how about if we have dinner tonight and we can talk about it? Huh? <laughs> I don't think so, Kim. Look, I'd love to, but I really have to go over and see Brian. I'd love to help you, but I, I can if I don't know what Brian's working on. I don't even know what it is myself. Look, all I know is he keeps telling me it's something revolutionary. Okay, drive carefully. Okay. And I'll see, see you later. Thanks okay, a lot take care. for trying to help. That's okay. Uh oh, it's her again. This ought to be interesting. What's up? My temper. That's what's up. I'm furious. I'll never talk to my father Casey, again. Never in a hundred years. Down, huh? What kind Just of man would fire his own future son in law? Casey? You mean you went ahead and told him we wanted to get married? Well, yeah. Why shouldn't I? Casey, I thought that we had agreed not to tell your all father right, until... All right, Brian. All right. I didn't tell him. 
But I'm going to tonight. And if he tries to talk me out of this, Brian, which he will, I know he will, because he doesn't think I'm old enough to make my own decisions. And if, Brian, please, I'm going to... Brian... I don't think it's a very good time to tell your father about our big plans. First of all, you know, he thinks about uh, Ken Sharp. Then let him marry Ken Sharp. And now this business is going to pop because my security system is malfunctioning. I just don't think he's being very fair to you, that's all. He isn't being unfair. The system isn't working. Casey, I can't for the life of me figure out why, but it just isn't. In fact, if it weren't for this new security system I'm developing, and the fact that he just fired me, I'd quit. Brian, when is this brilliant new system going to be ready anyway, huh? I just didn't sing it. Brian, it's ready and you didn't tell me? I'm telling you now. It's ready enough to show you. Okay, so show me. Hmm, better check on what's going on. Forty-nine. Forty-what? Well, what do you think? <laughs> what do I think of what? Of my revolutionary new security system. Of Rascal? I don't get it. You will. Watch. Seventeen. Forty-four. Sixty-six. Well? Well. <laughs> well, that's the best trained dog I've ever seen. Brian, where's the new invention? That's it. That's it. Rascal is it? A revolutionary new security system. That's his new security system. Okay. Oh. Mm. Gotta get a closer look. Huh? Am I seeing double? I don't believe it. I just don't. Three years of hard work. You built a watchdog. Uh-uh. An electronic watchdog. Computerized, self-activating mobile crime deterrent. Unlike any watchdog that ever existed. That's fantastic. I mean, this is incredible. I can't believe it. Mm, neither will the burglars. Take a look at this. I call it my K-9 Home Protection System. CHOMPS for short. CHOMPS, huh? Mm-hmm. And CHOMPS is a completely programmed security system. But what can this little dog do to a burglar? Roll over on it? <coughs> you can do a lot more than that, Casey. A lot more. But, R.J., we need something extraordinary to turn things around for Norton's security systems. If Brian really has come up with a revolutionary new system, we can't afford to pass it up. I tell you, Sharp, I am not interested. Who is it? It's Gibbs. Listen, Gibbs, I don't want to go through this again. I've had a very tough morning. Listen, it must be tough having your office broken into. Especially when you manufacture burglar alarms. Yeah, I got the report. 
<laughs> on the police call. <laughs> I know what you're calling about. And the answer is, and it always will be, no. I am not selling. Be sensible, Ralph. You're in big trouble. I know what's been happening to your newest system. Well, you are in for a big surprise, Gibbs. You and everybody else in this business are going to be obsolete. Because what nobody knows is that my brilliant chief engineer has just come up with a new system that is going to revolutionize the entire industry. Hey, Norton, sounds like you stopped making security systems and started making ha, cock and bull stories. Stories, huh? Well, I'm going to put on my vice president in charge of production. He'll tell you. What, you change your mind? You're going to bring Brian back? Not on your life, but I had to have something to say to that vulture. Here, get on the phone. Tell him I am not bluffing. Mr. Gibbs? Norton is not bluffing. <laughs> now let him worry for a while. So then I tried out this Doberman model. <laughs> Oh, Ralph, isn't that going to hurt you? And what was wrong with that model? Kept chasing cars. <laughs> That's too bad. Mm, it's worse. <sighs> Kept catching them. <laughs> okay, pussycat. We're at the address. And everything looks... green and clean. So that's when I decided on Rascal as a model, because of the uh, surprise factor. I get it. Who would ever think of a little dog like that of being a ferocious watchdog, right? Right. Right, Rascal? Brian, how can you tell them apart? Well, I'm proud to say, it's difficult. We'll 10-22 you later. Goodbye. Hey. What's all that mean? Green and clean means we're clear. 10-22 means we'll report to him in person. Oh, uh -huh. the plot thickens. Hey, who are those jokers? Mm -hmm. That I got. Come on. Now this, this is Chomp's central control system. This is an exact duplicate of a canine sensory nervous system, but it's activated by this highly sophisticated mini computer. Plus, Casey, he's got the ability to reproduce any sound that I care to program. These circuits duplicate all the five senses, receiving information in the form of sounds, movements, and odors, and break them down to electronic impulses that uh, control Chomp's uh, super hearing, supervision, including X-ray vision, and even super strength, and super speed. The outer shell is made of a virtually indestructible material I developed myself. <laughs> Brian, you're a genius. Oh, look, look. It looks like Rascal wants to play. It's one of the few things I couldn't teach Chomps. But now, on the other hand, it doesn't shed, doesn't require uh, feedings or walks. It's a perfect watchdog. That should uh, freak out any burglar in town. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Eyes right, Muffin. Muffin. Best of all, he's so easy to operate. All it takes to activate it from house dog to watch dog is a command 21. What's he looking at, Brian? 
Must be something outside. I'm sorry, I'm sure. Well, it couldn't have been them. Maybe something went wrong. Must have been a malfunction. I think I better leave him program for House Dog till I can check out his circuitry. Oh, sorry, ladies. It was it was a dog that made us do it. Dog. We gotta report this. Twelve jumps. <laughs> Brian. Brian, somebody was here. It must have been a burglar. A real burglar. Brian Chomps works. Hope you're right, Casey. Oh, you've got to show this to my father. Casey, I can't. I haven't got all the bugs worked out yet. Bugs, fleas, whatever. Brian Chomps is terrific. Chomps, you're the greatest crime biter in the world. Uh, looks like Rascal's jealous. You know, that's another thing I didn't program into Chomps. An affection response. <laughs> I think Rascal has enough affection for the both of them put together. That's the phone. I'm gonna believe it if I get to see it. Give me a dime. Give me a dime. Pockets have shrunk. I can't get my fingers out. Will you give me this? There's the time. Now give it to me. No. I said give it to me. No, no. You promised that I can make the report this time. What are you going to tell them? Dog chopped down the tree? <laughs> They're not going to believe you. That's a report, isn't it? Make the report. Make it snappy. Freeze it cold. You got the number? There's the number. There's the number? Nothing. Does she go? Who cares your back? Oh. Ooh, that whistle's blowing in my mind. Chomps, what is it? What's the matter? We gotta catch him! Chomps! Ah! 86! Somebody says that the sound of the tone, I got 20 seconds to, to leave a message. Go ahead, hurry up, you got 20 seconds. Okay, go ahead, talk. Uh, Fox C1 reporting. Sir, uh, we went to the address, asked for instructions. Yeah, I'm talking. Scouting, scout, scout. Shh. Sun hide. Thank you. Talk! Hurry up, you're gonna lose the message. You got another dime? No, I don't have another dime. That was the last dime. Talk for crying out loud. Wait, wait a minute. Where was I? Where was you? Stop. Hey, 
Where's he off to? It's a bird, it's a plane, it's super dog. Well, Chomps just takes off that way. Can't figure out why. But you can fix it, right? <sighs> Brian, you've got to show my father. Chomps, 21. Believe me, Dad, you have never seen anything like this in your entire life. I don't care, Casey. I never want to have anything to do with Brian or any other young computer geniuses ever again. Forget him and his nutty idea. It is not a nutty idea. Whatever it is, it's nutty. Sharp is the guy for you. He's the best man I've had. Look, I might as well tell you. I've already invited Brian over here. Here? Yes. Goodbye. I'll sneak out before Dad, he gets here. stop it. Dad, come on. Please get back here and listen to me. I'll use the back. No, you won't. You're acting like a child. Show me a child with a $5 million business on the verge of bankruptcy. Stay right here. Good morning, Mr. Norton. It was. Dad. <laughs> Brian, come on in. We've been waiting for you. Why don't we... I want you to know I am here under protest, Foster. And I appreciate it, Mr. Norton. 
Look, if you'll just give me half a chance to show oh, you what I've got... Show me, show me. I'll tell you it's a nutty idea. Then I can go to work and you can go and collect unemployment. Where is it? Uh, well, sir... It's in here. What is it? Bells? Electric eyes? An unpickable lock? What? Not quite, yeah. Chops, 21. Is this a joke, Foster? That's your dog. Oh, no, sir, that's not rascal. That... That's your revolutionary development? If I've seen that dog once, I've seen it 100 times. <laughs> I'm going to be very calm about this. I don't know what you're up to. But I'll give you exactly three seconds to get this stupid mud off my chest. There's Mercedes here. In each operation of this canine home protection system, chops for short, each operation is triggered by a numerical command. Oh, you mean when I said if I'd seen him once, I've seen him once. Oh, well, uh, right. That number triggers his karate jump. Well, Dad, what do you think? It's amazing. But really, what can a little dog like that do? Even if it's an electronic dog? Well, for one thing, when he's activated for watchdog, like he is right now, he can detect a, a prowler or a burglar anywhere within his own property. His first reaction is to zero in on the suspect area. Then his visual sensors confirm his suspect sensors. Now. Uh, Brian, that's what he's doing now. You better be right, Foster. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, look! Chops is chasing a pickup! Now that's what I call an original invention. A dog that chases cars. Let's follow him anyway. What's happening? Man, I haven't had a decent news story in weeks. Even a garage sale would be an event. My favorite place to shop. Uh-oh, take your time. Let's go. Never mind. We're being covered. with a police siren built in? Now, that's got to be news. Let's go, Chuck. Hey, step on it. We have much gaining on us.
get over there. He took a shortcut. That dog started it all. First, he pulled a van across the road. Then a pickup came in here without a permit. Then the battle started. Did he say that dog just started this? Uh, uh, yes. uh, that's right. Uh, this is not just any dog. Uh, this is part of a new top secret security development that we are working on at Norton Security Systems. Well, excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, can you explain the siren? Uh, yes. Easily. Uh, as you may know, Norton Security Systems has long been a leader in providing security and alarm systems to the citizens of this city. Perhaps, Mr. Norton, the uh, owner of Norton Security Systems, uh, the owner of this remarkable dog, can explain just what happened. Uh, yes, indeed. Now, this is no ordinary dog. As a matter of fact, it represents an amazing new invention that we call the Canine Home Protection System, Chomps. A highly sophisticated, revolutionary security system. Well, I'd say that dog is definitely one in a hundred. Chomps 86! <laughs> you, you triggered his uh, karate jump. <laughs> Great dog. Great dog. That should be mine. Sharp, I want you to meet Norton Security Systems' new vice president in charge of systems development. And may I add, uh, future son-in-law. Um, what happened between yesterday and this morning? A revolution, Sharp. A revolution. In one fell swoop, this young man has revolutionized the entire security systems industry. The invention is that incredible? Well, <laughs> incredible? It is beyond incredible. It's, it's, it's... Revolutionary? Exactly. And after the demonstration that I've arranged for tonight at the Gold Key Unity store, it's in the bag. Well, what is it? You'll see soon. Brian here's arranged a demonstration for us in the parking lot. All right. 
I can't wait to see his face when we show him. <laughs> it's going to be terrific. Okay. I've set up the ladder. All right. Well, let's get started. Chops, 21. That is your new super security system? You got to be joking. It's no joke, Sharp. Believe me, that canine home protection system is the biggest thing since the lock. I think a demonstration will answer all of your questions, Ken. Now, the first test that I've set up is to demonstrate how effective chops can be in preventing a break-in by a second story man. That little doggy is going to stop a burglar? That's right. Let me be the second story man. Ken, I don't think no, you should. No, I really, I... Please, I insist. He insists, Brian. But... Oh. Okay, I'm the burglar. So what? Here goes. Chop, 66. Nice going, chumps. <laughs> now what do you think, Sharp? The ladder slipped. It was an accident. <laughs> I'm sorry to have to be the one to prove it to you. Look, I'm a coffee. Stop me. You asked for it. Shots. 56. Are you all right? Never mind that. What do you think of Chomps? I think I'd like to go home now and recover. Yes? Carl, wait to hear this. I found out what the revolutionary new project is. It's a dog. I know you won't believe it, but I didn't believe it myself until I saw it. But it can do anything. It's electronic, but it looks absolutely real, and it's top secret. <laughs> secret? <laughs> secret, did you say? Sharp, you dummy. It's so secret, I just saw it on television. Television? Now, look. I want that dog. I want that dog more than I've wanted anything. And I intend to get that dog. Do you read me? Y yes, sir. Your partnership hangs in the balance, Sharp. What would Norton think if he found out that you were helping his competition? Sabotaging his systems. Huh, Sharp? Well, I'd hate to think about it. Um, all right, I'll get right on it. You get on it, get it. Okay. Tested on a, a gold key unity. Your assignment is to get it. 
Got it? Yeah. Listen, the only reason we showed up is to tell you that we're not showing up anymore. That watchdog is still guarding the system. We don't want any part of it. You dummies, that dog is the system, and we want it. Look, you want more money, we'll double the fee. If they sent, they'd offer us double. Asking for triple. Hello? Hello? Uh, my partner and I have decided we want triple. You, uh, disconnected the phone. Give me a dime. Give me a dime. I'm sorry, Brooks. Well, go get a dime. And don't attract any attention. Okay, okay, relax. told me not to attract attention. Do you have a dime? Sure, Mr. Merkel. All right. I want you to know, I think you have lost your mind, Norton. How can you tell me this little dog will protect my store when your security system and five police dogs couldn't? Like I said, Jonathan, I can't tell you. It's top secret. Just remember that I personally will make up any losses you might incur. <laughs> it's your money. Brian, let jump loose. Okay, Charles, your big chance. 21. All right, lock her up now. Yes, sir. Foster will be monitoring this new system from his car here, so we'll be on top of it every minute, you see? All I can see is a new system for going bankrupt. <laughs> well, good luck. You too. Good night, sir. Uh, this is Norton Security. We have a gold key alarm connected at 1840 hours. New electronic security test in effect at the same time. short day, you get your job back. 
And we get my father's blessing. Can you believe it? It's been quite a day. Mm-hmm. And we have the whole evening to ourselves. Mm. Um, Brian, what is this? Oh, it's Chomp's monitoring device. I keep tabs on Chomp's wherever I go. As long as there's no flashing or beeping, it's no problem. Four, Norton Silent Alarm at the Gold Key Department Store.
thieves. That's right, officer. The chump's got him. <laughs> I wonder what that foster guy feeds that dog. Never mind the dog. What about us? Well, think of it this way, Brooks. What more can happen to us? <laughs> This is Gibbs. Now, here's my last and best offer. I'm offering you a merger. So, you heard about what happened at the Gold Key Unity store. Well, then you should know there's no chance of a merger or anything else. Give up, Gibbs. And pardon me. Well, I hang up. How do you like that? The minute somebody comes up with anything great, all the world wants to get a piece of it. Gibbs has a lot to offer. Maybe a merger wouldn't be such a bad idea. Are you kidding? Besides, I've already had another offer to merge. Another offer? Really? Who made it? Park Systems! Park Systems? And they came to me. What do you think about that? I think it's absolutely fantastic. You bet it's fantastic. Park Systems, no less. One of the biggest electronic systems conglomerates in the world, Sharp. In the world! Once they see chumps in action, I will be able to name my own terms. Yeah, we'll have to work up a really spectacular demonstration. It's already planned and arranged for. Where's it going to be? Uh, the location is top secret. I had to give them my word. Good thinking. This is one time we don't want any leaks. Really? Hi, Case. Hi. What a surprise. Hi. How are you? Uh, huh? Fine. I'm fine. Uh, sit down. Thank you. Thank you. Expecting Brian? Yeah. Who else? Uh, no doubt about it. He's a genius. Your father was telling me about the demonstration plan for park systems today. Yeah. Isn't it exciting? Oh, and big, too. Big. Who would ever suspect we'd hold the demonstration now? <laughs> Using park systems proving grounds has got to be impressive. But, Casey, please be careful. Don't go telling anyone about that. The word is tight security. That's where I come in. Hi, Casey. Sorry I'm late. Hi, Brian. Um, don't worry about it. Ken was keeping me company. Thanks, Ken, but uh, please, don't let us keep you. Sure, Brian. As a matter of fact, I was just about to go. Hey, wait a second, Ken. Why don't you stay and have lunch with us? Let him go, Casey. I'm sure that Ken has a very important luncheon date that he doesn't want. All right. Thank you for reminding me, old pal. I'll see you around, kids. What was that all about? Just decided I didn't like him. He's a creep. For your information, that creep had a lot of nice things to say about you. I still think he's a creep. And I say you're no gentleman. Believe it, the most important day of my life when we have an argument. All I said was he's a creep. Well, he is a creep. You know, except for these mysterious malfunctions, you don't give me any trouble whatsoever. Maybe I should whip up an electronic Casey and solve all my problems. All right, listen, uh, for safekeeping, I think I better leave you programmed for Watchdog. Jumps, 21. For all I know, she's having lunch with him right now. Trouble, trouble. 
you got today? Got a blackjack, old buddy. 21. Casey? What a day, Foster. What a day. After we do this demonstration for park systems, the sky's the limit. I gave the office the whole day off to celebrate. It's terrific, Mr. Norton. What's the matter, Foster? It's Chomps. No. He malfunctioned again. No. You lost him. No. He short-circuited. No, it's Casey. Casey short-circuited? I'll say she did. We had a misunderstanding. She didn't mention it to me. Well, it was a stupid argument. Look, I've got to go talk to her. But, but the demonstration! I've got to see Casey first. Foster! The demonstration's more important. It's not to me, it isn't. I'll be right back. Well, I'm not waiting. If you think I'm going to sit around here and twiddle my thumbs while a multi-million dollar contract goes down the drain, he is sadly mistaken. Aha! Uh -huh. Got to handle a fortune like this very carefully. Park system's proving ground. Good. I'm gonna make it my business to be there, too. This could work for us, Carl. How? Norton has closed shop for the day. The plans for Chomps are in his safe. Oh, I get it. Who needs the dog if I've got the plans? <laughs> <Right. laughs> That's a good idea. With Norton at the proving ground, this should be a snap. Even for those two clowns you've got working for you. I'll take care of it. You can depend on it. It's all such a silly misunderstanding, Casey. Yeah, it was. I'm sorry. Look, I didn't mean half the things I said. What about the other half? The other half? Hmm? This is the other half. <laughs> what? Your father's already gone. I thought you said he was going to wait for you to go to the demonstration. Yeah. Maybe he took jobs. I don't know. Why don't you find out? Chomps is gone. Mm, what now? Twelve. What's that mean? It is Chomps. Mm. Brian, if that's Chomps, then my father... Took Rascal. Yeah. Casey, he could blow the whole demonstration. Oh, Brian. Chomps, 21! 21? Hmm. Must be old enough to vote. All right, 
back, Mr. Norton. This is the test set up by Park Systems for your canine home protection system. Out there on that concrete apron, we have placed six explosive devices, one in the path of each of the carriers, which are remotely controlled. But only one of the explosives is live, however. Now, the devices explode when this antenna is pushed over by the front axle of one of the carriers. And your dog's job will be to locate that live mine and move it safely out of the path of the vehicle. Now, do you think your system can do that? The Norton Canine Home Protection System can do that, or anything else you and your engineers can dream of. Okay, let's proceed. Rascal better be okay. Mm -hmm. Let's hope they haven't started yet. Okay, chomps. 21. Come on, boy, that's your big chance. <laughs> Twenty-two. Maybe I got it wrong. Four? Fourteen? He's strong. He's terrific. Terrific. Watch him. He's a killer. <laughs> That's all a part of his uh, deceptive appearance. Closed for Chomps Day. Closed for Chomps Day. Is that like Mother's Day? No, no it's not like Mother's Day. All right, all right, shut up and listen. The plans are in Norton safe on the third floor. I'll disconnect the alarm system so you can get inside the office, but I'll have to reset it so the disconnect won't register. You got that? Got it. Okay, when you get the plans, knock twice, and I'll disconnect again. You can count on us. Okay, just make it fast. You go right up there. Can't you drive any faster? Casey, I'm going as fast as I can. All right, all systems go. Okay, Chomps. Go and get that mine. Go on, Chomps. Go on. said the safe was behind a wood panel. Wood panel. If he works on numbers, something's not computing. Oh, he has plenty of time yet to find a live mine. He probably got a fix on it as soon as he hit the field. Is that a wood panel? That's a wood panel. He also said the button was behind the desk. Is this it? That's it. <laughs> Give me the stuff. They gotta be in the office by now. If your father had only waited for me. Come on! some kind of a practical joke, would it? You must remember that what you're looking at is a revolutionary new concept in security systems. Chomp has indeed passed over the first four of the dummy explosives without the slightest hesitation. I promise you, he will be zeroing in on that explosive any second now. Magic. 
magic fingers. Magic touch. Chomps is just zeroing in on the explosive. Explosives? Right. I had him programmed for watchdogs. Neutralizing the explosive should be a cinch. Rascal, stop! Rascal? Chomps, 21. How's it coming, Brooks? How's it coming, Brooks? Ah! What did I say? It's not what you said. It's where you said it. Go! Go, boy, go! a menace. Gibbs, what are you doing here? I keep asking myself the same question right now. You were spying. Admit it. I you wasn't. were spying. I wasn't spying. And even if I was, <laughs> it wouldn't make any difference. You're a competitor. I still say you're spying. And you don't know it yet, but you're almost out of business. What did you mean by that, Mr. Norton? Out of business? Didn't you see that fabulous demonstration? I think you better explain yourself. <laughs> Norton. <laughs> I don't have to explain anything to you. Pussycat to Fat Cat, I've contacted my men and everything is going according to plan at Norton's. Operation plans is a cinch. Over. Operation plan? This thing's too tough. We're gonna have to blow it. Where is that? Breaking in to get the plans for chomps. Call the police. Come on, Brian. We better go stop them. Fat cat, huh? We have exactly three minutes before that thing blows up. a 459 alarm at Norton Secure. Look, I know it's my own building. Just get here. Oh, that's it, that's it. The alarm. You're supposed to signal my knocking first. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. That window. Fire out to that 
the office and the alarms went off. Somebody must be breaking Shark, in. Shark, we gotta get out of here! Excuse me! <laughs> See if the plans are safe. Okay. Up the car. Turn around. Get out the car. Lean over it. Spread up. You know today's right. chump stay. It's too late for that, rascal. Brian, Brian, look at his eyes. His eyes? His tail. There's still a spark in him. Casey, I didn't put that sound in his computer tapes. Maybe I can. I can. And old Chops is looking better than new. Well, with Gibson Sharp out of the way, we will be back to number one in no time. When do you think we can get into production on the new system, Brian? Oh, within a month, I hope, sir.
think I've solved the problem with that malfunction, too, sir. At least it hasn't shown up for a while. Has anybody seen my muffin? Uh, no, sorry, Miss Feller, I haven't. Oh, well, this dog whistle always brings her back. Cause the malfunction. A whistle. What's he up to now? 